All right, back at my cousin Jay's house in East Hampton, the 1880s house where I found that uh, my first V nickel, 1911, right here by this tree, and uh, right over there by that tree. Between that and the other tree, I found a uh, that seahorse bottle opener, which is weird. Seahorse bottle opener. Anyways, I tried doing a few door knocks, left my cards. One guy said I can stop tomorrow after work at four o'clock, so I'm gonna try that. Tomorrow, hopefully he lets me. His name's Neil. And, uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow. Meanwhile, I just got here. Just started swinging. Got a signal. Right by the house here. He just had everything painted up. Looks nice. Uh, got a reflector here. Don't know what it's off of. I think it's rusted. And there's a screw on there, like it's screwed on to something. Don't know what. Alrighty, I'll get back to you in the next. Gorgeous day. Like, well, I'm in my shorts, but it's nice and windy and breezy and cool and not humid. And, wow, perfect day for hunting. Or at least being outside, anyways. Alright, I'll get back to you on the next good thing. Later. Yeah, I'm back here again. Right there is a. Remember where my coil is, I think, is where I found that seahorse uh, bottle opener there. Put about maybe three feet over here. I must have missed it with the big coil. The little big coil. It is a weedy. Which way does it go there? I can't even see it here. This way. I'll pick it up here. Put it in the sun so I can't see it. Alright. There you go. One set. Got a quick date, I think it was 1913 off of there. Alright, I get back to it for anything else. First weedy. Good sign. I missed something, anyways. Alright, get back to you soon. Alright, like I said, the last time I was here, right there by my coil, I dug a, uh, whoo, a seahorse bottle opener. Right there. A couple feet from there, I just dug that 1913 Weedy. That's funny, that's the year my grandfather was born. And it's weird, something told me to come here tonight. Well, not really, I stopped at a couple of door knocks, waiting here back on permissions. But Jay said I could always come here, so. I figured I'd bring the uh, AT Gold out today. I left the AT Pro in the car with the big nail coil. I got the AT Gold today with a little five by eight coil. <clears throat> like I said, I missed that Weedy last time. This coil plucked it out. Now it just plucked out something else. Let's go see what it is. First, of course. Oh my god. Woo! It's only the second one of these I ever got, so. Double spray. Alright. I'm just gonna see what we got. I think it's an IHP. Oh, let's see. There it be. Mr. IHP. Let's see that quick fool. I'll put you down for a sec. Alright, like I said, the house was built in 1880. Just like that weedy, the back was nice on the weedy, the front was toasted. And just like this, unfortunately, the old back here is a little toasted. This is the one cent. But the front side looks pretty good. Not too shabby. 1907 Indian Head Penny. My second ever. You know what that means? I'm going to take my glasses off so I don't look too bad. Got to kiss that relic. Mm -hmm. Ah, thank you, thank you for my second Indian Head Penny. I love it. It looks a little better than the last one I had, but... Mm -mm -mm. IHP. Alright, I'll get back to you. I'm so happy I came here. 1907. Later. Ah, I'll tell you what. This is a little AT gold here, I'll tell you. I thought that now big coil was a plucker. Getting in between there. This little 5x8. I hunted this ground 10 times already. I just picked up another nickel. This one's a 1941 Jefferson. 41. I think that was the year before it turned silver. 
I don't think there's any silver in the 41. But, uh, let me get a still picture for you. Hold on. I thought I had an 80, 81, 82. That turned out just to be a memorial. Alright, on to the next. Holy doodah day. I should have taken this AT gold out a long time ago. Oh my god. You already saw it. 1913 Weedy. 1909 Indian Head Penny. 1941 Jefferson. The Reflector. And I just got something else. You're not going to believe this though. But first. I'm thankful for this one. Blessed again. Hold on one sec. Here we go again. Right here. Double poo. Let's see what we got. It might be gold even. Gold, I said. Not sure. Don't want to get my hopes up. I got to food this thing. Get the magnifying glass out. Get my glasses on. Maybe your eyes can see it better than mine. We're going down, look at it. Hold on one sec. I love this hobby. Hey, there's my green car. All right, here we go. Let's go see what kind of gold that stuff is. If it is gold. Uh, I just have my glasses handy. Here they are. I can't see it, but I think I still saw an anchor. Right here. Some kind of a... Some kind of a ship's wheel, and they're connected by a chain here. Ho, ho, ho. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I thought I could just read it through there a second ago. Hold on. Get it in the sunlight. Yeah, let me fool it off real quick. <laughs> if this is gold, holy crap. I'll get right back to you. Hold on. Alrighty, let's see if I can do this in my hand. I don't know the sun or not. On the back it says uh, 10 karat GF. I guess that's gold filled. Then it says something about Murchison. Something else. The anchor has a uh, 38 on it. So maybe that's a uh, class of 38. Uh, I don't know. And then... It says on the front of this thing, with a ship's anchor. So it's about C G S C G S East Hampton, 38. I'm not sure what C G S stands for. And there's a big ship in the front of it. I think there's a doctor that used to live here. <clears throat> I don't know if he was in the 30s or what. I don't know if this has anything to do with it or. All right, CGS 38 East Hampton, ship's wheel, this is 10 carat, gold filled, Murchison something on it, I'll get a snapshot, and then a little anchor, it has a gold chain, the chain looks gold, came out of the ground gold, don't look tarnished at all, and then the anchor has a 30, come oh, on, spin around dude. Of course, when you don't want it to, it won't. When you want it to, it won't. There you go. 38 on there. Holy cow. Alright, let me get some still shots. <clears throat> I don't think I'm going to find anything else after this, but I'll look on the way back to the car. I'll get some stills. She's pretty. I'll take it as gold. I'll count it 10k gold. Alright. Let me get some stills. See you on the next. 38. Was that 80 years then?
All right, this is so cool. It says a three and an eight on each side of the anchor there. I mean the ship's wheel. Three on the left and an eight on the right. At three in the nine position. And the bottom of the anchor says 38. So, uh, it's gotta be a graduating class or something. I'll have to find out. I'll get back to you. All right, it's almost 7.30. The sun's going down quick. How much longer I got? I'm on my way back to the car, but I got a couple good more signals. First one was a memorial, and two inches away was this weedy. And it is a 1957D, I believe. One cent, wheat cent. All right. Same hole, just about. A memorial and a Lincoln. A memorial and a weedy, rather. Excuse me. All right, I'll catch you on the next. If I catch anything before I go home. Not catch up to wrap up. All right, happy swinging. All right, I'm just gonna film this because it's the first one of these I found. I never found one before. I don't know if any of you ever found one of them. One of these jacks. You were a kid. Bring up pretty good. All right, my first jack. Look at this there. All right, later. Hey, I took my daughter out this morning. We paid it forward to the sport, planted some coins in the ground. And I had to take her home and I decided to go uh, do some door knocking. I uh, knocked on a few doors, left my card with a few people. One guy said I can come back tomorrow, so I'm going to stop in after work around 4 o'clock and uh, stop at his house and see if he'll let me swing. Hopefully he will. It's an older part of town. But uh, since I couldn't get nowhere today, I went back to my cousin Jay's house and I'm, I'm glad I did. Found um, like five more Wheaties that I missed the last time I was there. I took the AT Gold out this time with a 5x8 coil. I left the AT Pro with a 17x18 coil in the car. And that's all I've ever used there before. So uh, I took that out. Found five Wheaties. Found another Indian Head Penny, 1907. And a little bit of gold. That's pretty cool. So, uh, yeah. Something told me to go back there. And it's weird how you get these feelings. <laughs> All right, I hope everyone had a good weekend. Everyone had a good hunt. Found something good. And I'll uh, see you guys next week. Talk to you later. Have a good one. Bye. All right, the last picture you saw was a permission we just got tonight. I just got the phone call. We're going to be hitting that Monday morning. And I might even have a surprise. Uh, CT Relic Digger might be coming along with this hunt. So uh, stay tuned, and uh, we'll see you then. Talk to you later.